brainstorm. Apparently, we saw for us to track the the phones. The phones are uh, quite quite small, so we need a very very small tracker. And as per uh, as per as as per that moment, we didn't have the necessary resources to do that. So as we go on brainstorming, we found like we can try with Buda Buda. And then from there, we can narrow it down to phones and laptops. Yeah, and the. Now currently we are at Buda Buda. And the rest is history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm wondering do we get to maybe we see more yani yani it's the lens. <laughs> you 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 got your st- uh, your phone stolen or like afana we need to do something about this. So what is it about solving problems and innovation? Mm-hmm. What would you say about solving problems and innovation the correlation? Uh apparently uh, most of uh what we do most of what we do as as uh, entrepreneurs uh, mm-hmm. we first uh, make a product then we go to the market so you kind of have a co- uh, conflict of whereby like your product may not penetrate the market but as for us we saw this is a problem now we mm-hmm. can uh, try to solve it so it it creates a market for itself so what i can say is that to every uh, innovator to every entrepreneur create a solution that a uh, create create a solution to a problem uh, it will be easy for you to market and uh, mm-hmm. to go on from there to scale up okay so creating a solution to a problem is the way to go yeah yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. so to add. Uh-huh. Yeah. so um you have asked even uh, about the you know how we came up ab- about this and uh, i think uh entrepreneurs uh, for us both of us even before 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 this um we, we tried our hands at different things like uh, pro if example for Elias he was in waste management and for me I tried my hand in logistics so we find that we mm-hmm. had uh, it's something that we maybe we had we discovered earlier before but um, meeting at that particular point in time we just we, we just discovered that okay there is a problem here and that uh, since we can bring combine our, our small experiences or our experiences that we had had in the uh, in mm-hmm. the previous markets that we can see and how we can you know combine our efforts and do this thing together yeah okay mm-hmm. and we'll get to the backstory a bit on uh, if you if you both have backgrounds in you know something related to tech but first tell us about this technology let people understand how it works yeah okay uh, apparently we have a prototype mm-hmm. uh this is our first first prototype uh it it looks like this uh this is the first prototype yeah uh the the, the second one the second prototype uh-huh. now we are uh, in fourth uh so I- as you can see it's small uh-huh. so it can be compacted uh, on a on a motorbike mm-hmm. what we, what we have here inside is uh, the the covering or the cover of this is a 3d yeah. printed uh-huh. so at, uh, at that we you we recycle we s- recycle uh, yeah. most of the waste uh, plastic waste that you find uh, okay. out so there the cover is a rec- is from a, a product a 3d printer of a uh-huh. uh, recycled plastic okay yeah, yeah. all right and uh, the tracker now is inside yeah yeah the device the the technology is inside the technology yeah, yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> so <laughs> what's the technology just to make me understand it okay if you if you come to a tracking uh, tracking uh, company or a tracking device first of all it has to give you real time mm-hmm. real time data and uh, secondly it have uh, you have to have a map Le- like the basic features of a tracker is that uh, real time mm-hmm. uh, a map and possibly a notification but for us uh, we have incl- uh, we have increased our um, features whereby mm-hmm. like you can uh, if you put uh, we have a problem as per now we have a user agreement with our boda boda whereby we cannot share private data for that we uh, i think we could have come with uh, a case scenario a case study on the ground uh-huh. uh, but unfortunately for user agreement we couldn't do that mm-hmm. so yeah when this thing is on the bike uh you find like we are we are in cooperation of a software and hardware company this is the hardware mm-hmm. we have a web uh, web application where you can download it on your phone mm-hmm. so on your phone you can f- uh, you can know the exact moment where your bike or your asset is mm-hmm. and then you, at the end of the day you can uh, play back like you see if the rider at what distance or at what location did he go for the whole of the day uh, and if apparently give you 600 mm-hmm. and went for about a kilometer you see the logistic doesn't make sense yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah 
Uh-huh. Term of time. Yeah, yeah. Those are the just the minor features. Mm. But uh, for us, we have incorporated other features like uh, we have a panic button. A panic button uh, for this. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, whereby for the rider, this is the safety of the rider. Mostly, when the bikes are being stolen, you find that uh, the rider life is, uh, is at risk. Mm-hmm. So we saw it fit this. Uh, we saw it fit to have a panic button. So this button is at the comfort of the rider, whereby if we press it, uh, uh, the, uh, this will create a notification on the emergency contact of the rider. For example, if the rider has a wife or a, uh, the next of king mm-hmm. to him, so if you see that uh, call, you know that the rider. Is, is that danger, danger or uh, an emergency has occurred? Mm-hmm. Second, we have uh, accident detection mm-hmm. uh, in there, whereby any change on impact or G force, uh, it will inform you that uh, possibly there's an ins- incident with the rider. So, who does it inform? Maybe you can tell us. You can continue <laughs> telling us all that. So, who does it inform in the case of an accident? Is it the same person that it alerts when the pa- when the border border guy is in danger? Okay. So, for for this uh, these features, most of them, we find uh, they are uh, they are also useful for somebody who has a fleet who has a fleet of border borders. You know. So, uh, in this case, in this case in study, like uh, you find now that accident detection. It's four. Like you have had out your border borders, you have several. Uh-huh. So, um, so for for this now, it notifies the owner that th- there is a possible collision that uh-huh. has happened now with that with that border border. Okay. So uh, there are features that also incorporate kind of also fleet management. So if you have several uh, motorbikes, um, th- that feature will be really useful for you. But if you are this lo- so sole sole. Uh-huh. Uh, own and rider, mm-hmm. then it might not be as useful as uh, we intend it to be. But it's for another use case now for, for the people who own multiple mm-hmm. um, border borders. Okay, so let me get the features. It, it gives you real-time information. It shows you the map. Mm-hmm. It also It's used for fleet management and mm-hmm. uh, also alerts the owner in case of an accident, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, as I forgot to say, there's a geofence of whereby uh, in this study we have like two geofence. Mm-hmm. The first geofence is, for example, you have a bike and you work here mm-hmm. uh, as a passive income. So you can draw a geofence, you say, okay, if my border border passed like CBD, mm-hmm. it will notify me. Okay. Then you can call the rider and, t- uh, and tell him, uh, where are you? I maybe uh, possibly in CBD, but you can see according to your real, uh, real-time data that is not there, so you can know maybe when I chase one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second one, uh, the second uh, geofence uh, we have incorporated is automatic, whereby if you park, if you park your bike mm-hmm. uh, and it's off, and possibly maybe you mend a kukula or something like that, uh, it draws a geofence of 10, 10 meters, whereby uh, if anybody comes, you know, some of the border border zina inuliwa and then zina kokogari then. The, yeah, they're stolen that way. So you can like know my, my Buddha Buddha is off and uh, it's a notice for me that something is fishy is going on. So mm-hmm. these are uh, features that we obtain uh, directly from the client there at the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we have a good customer. We, are, we, are, we, are, we have a few people who have tested us and they give, uh, they give us uh, quite substantial feedback of so what we can do extra. Oh. Okay. And uh, Prince, so what are some of the challenges? Because you're creating solutions to the Buddha Buddha guys and you have uh, customized some of this to fit them. So what are some of the challenges that these Buddha Buddha guys are facing? Even some maybe that you have not yet addressed. Okay. Um, you find the biggest challenges um, other than security because security is also a huge one. Uh, that yeah. uh, Because we constantly interact with them. So you find that uh, the hugest challenges are mostly even outside, outside even the security um, arena. So you find things to do with insurance, things uh, they don't have medical insurance when they are hit outside there. Mm-hmm. Um, I- I pr- price of you know the price of gas, um, you know mm-hmm. the the fuel 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 pump. So you find um, some, but the challenges that we have faced uh, mostly is. Um, to do to do with the uh, security enforcement because you find we are also linking up with a lot with security enforcement so you find uh, when a border border is stolen you find um, the border border guys don't have a really good rapport with the, with the police 
mm-hmm. because more, most of them um, or some of them are also involved in crime. You see, there was also crime that uh, involves the border border riders. So you find like uh, when there is uh, when they go to report this crime uh, or when their border border is stolen, most of them even hide away. They shy away from from saying that my border border has been stolen. Mm-hmm. So that's also a huge challenge. That there is also that barrier, that barrier between law enforcement and the border border guys because um, the rapport there is, isn't quite right. Okay. Yeah. And do you think uh, this is a problem that can be solved by tech or there just have to there just has to be some other sort of intervention? Okay, I would say like the inc- incidents that uh, maybe was a while back on uh, Forest Road, the Forest Road, mm-hmm. where th- that lady was uh, was attacked, uh, which was uh, really te- really sad, re- really sad to see. So you find such problems um, that really create now that bad rapport w- with the law enforcement and the border border guys. Mm-hmm. This really boils down uh, not even to technology. As much as we can innovate, as much as we can uh, do all these things, uh, this does not boil down to. Mm-hmm. Uh, this boils down to who who that person is. He, basic human decency. So this is this is a problem about the character uh, character mm-hmm. of people who are now in the profession. Because you find in every prof- profession you'll find such kind of problems, and uh, not all problems can be solved can be solved using innovation using technology. Yeah. So. Um, some just boils down to basic human decency. Okay, before I come to Elias, would you explain to us what you mean by custom, because you say you give custom software solutions, right? So explain to us more on that. So we mean custom because everything that even what the hardware that you have is really made by us, made by Kenyans, uh, just built by us. And mm-hmm. even the software bit, is we are the ones who have uh, done the programming uh, of, of the software. So that's what I mean by custom. It's not something that is outside there because you find uh, a lot of the um, off-the-shelf or vendor solutions mm-hmm. are, are not customizable. Um, you find you have you have a tracker, yes, but once you have it, you cannot really do anything about it. Like if you want a new feature added, if you want something else uh, modified, you cannot be able to do that because this was maybe shipped from some place from Thailand, mm-hmm. from where. So for us, uh, we are really taking pride in that that we are customizing our own solution uh, to our own market. All right, yeah. Elias. Uh, uh, now, uh, would you say that apart from what he has mentioned, what else would you say is unique about uh, your this particular tracking technology that you have come up with? Uh, our unique, our uniqueness, I think, mm-hmm. first of all, is uh, customer feedback, whereby we we are engaging the client directly on the ground, and whereby we are we are we are learning as we go. I think mm-hmm. uh, that's that's very critical. And mm-hmm. toward what Prince uh, has just said, most of the track are generic. Generic, I mean, whereby they come as they are, and they are made for a particular market. You see, if a Chinese uh, manufacturer there at China uh, creates a solution, he does not know how the user or the, at the end user in Africa uh, uh, if we create the, the solution for the end uh, user in, in Africa. So for us, we are creating direct uh, solution t- to the market. So if you have mm-hmm. uh, any problem, uh, any, any, any problem that can be fixed with f- physics, uh, we are here to, to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Physician. Uh, I've been told you have a background in physics, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Elias, you have a background in... Prince, sorry. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> Prince. Woo, my <laughs> Prince, you have a background in computer science. Yeah. So do you need, does one need to have a background in such to, com- to be an innovator, to come up with something? Because... Some of us to go arts. Oh, <laughs> Do okay. I need to to be in science to come up with something innovation? Uh, but then that's a good question. Uh, uh, not really. Uh, you see, uh, the thing that makes Africa different is the fact that we are very very young. Mm-hmm. And the fact that we are very young, we can partner. So, for example, me have partner with Prince mm-hmm. and two more. So you see, what Prince brings and uh, what I bring are totally totally different, and we complement each other that way. So you are an art. Mm-hmm. You can find a, a a software developer and where you can partner. Possibly you can deal with sales and you can deal with uh, uh-huh. a software part okay. of it. So uh, our first first is African Africans or Kenyans is called partnership. So okay. I urge all of us if you have uh, any idea or uh, find find a group of people. Plus it uh, to the investor perspective it brings a confidence that you have incorporated two or three more people. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, Prince, 
uh, you came to bring a, a solution to a problem that is there. So now, has there been any notable difference since your innovation came? Um, I think this is mostly at the grassroots level um, because that's where we, we get the feedback. You know, boots on the ground, just going there and um, seeing that this 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 innovation, this uh, technology has brought a difference in how they, um, how, because like the instance I can give is now, you know, like how you can play back the history of, of the uh, the border border where it has been so mm -hmm. this is particularly really useful uh for for people who are who have owned uh several motorbikes you find they are able to to know like this person is dishonest and uh, because you find in in every logistical or in tra in the transport industry the biggest problem is uh the people that you give your uh, your asset to mm -hmm. so you uh, but now for this one you you're you're able they are they can be able to be more confident mm -hmm. um, about their person, about the person, because they don't necessarily need to trust them. Mm -hmm. uh, because you know, trust is a really uh, delicate thing. So, but you can really verify like this person has actually done this, has actually covered this mm -hmm. amount of distance. So that's what I will say. That that's the kind of difference that um, it's making. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, Elias. Uh, back to as we come to a close uh, on fleet management. So, how far does your footprint stretch to in ensuring that in, in ensuring that uh, the fleet is well managed? Uh, for now, for now, you can uh, you can have uh, like several motorbikes on one platform. Uh, we have not like uh, yet tested. We have not yet like find a client who has like uh, a fleet management. But currently, we are dealing with uh, a few. Uh, we have a few. Uh, we have a few clients and uh, we are pursuing more. So for that, I can say uh, we have not like we we don't have like the real data on the ground, but uh, all all things can be done under one platform. Okay, uh, that's all, all right. I can say for now. Ah, uh, and Prince, uh, what would you say are some of the advancements that you see uh, or that you've envisioned to make? Okay. Um. <laughs> I could say uh, this is how I could say uh, I can frame this question this way. Um, right now, uh, you don't know even know when uh, the next six months or how it's going to be because mm -hmm. in this space and in in you know innovation generally, things really change really quickly and you find opportunities that uh, arise uh, from different scenarios. But uh, also in in an ideal world where we have this perfect world which we don't, mm -hmm. uh, when we have our own plan, our own plan you know would be um, to venture into like now the where our in initial idea went from. Um, to track phones, track laptops, um, but also in a, in a real sense, it will be to to venture into now uh, intelligence, intelligence of data. So how how are you going to use this data that now we have gathered? You can be able to uh, spot uh, places where the motorbikes are stolen. You can now mark some spots where you know, like these are very violent uh, areas and uh, crime uh, related areas. So you find there is a lot with that we can do, um, mm -hmm. but. It will all depend on, you know, how life also <laughs> also goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I understand you also got an award at Kiambu Innovation Week. Yeah. What was it for? Yeah. So we um, yeah we, we were p participated in the expo and the Kiambu Innovation Week where there were around 120 projects. So we just went with our innovation, just uh, pitched to people um, and explained to them what you're doing. And, um, you know, so they... So they saw, and also the judges, they came and, uh, you know, they, they saw that uh, this is a, a real a real solution that is being uh, that is being worked on here. So, yeah, we, I think we, we were, okay, we were sixth place uh, out of the 120. Yeah, so I think uh, it was really a, a show. For, for us, it really validated that we, we are actually doing something um, that is uh, worth, worth doing. All right, yeah. amazing. And to you, Elias, what do you have to say to to us uh, or to innovators rather that are there and looking up to you know you guys that are already there and are making it? Uh, I will be real. <laughs> uh -huh. It's not easy. First of all, it's not easy. Yeah, you need uh, you need uh, to have a strong, tough skin. You know, every every 
uh, every profession has its own uh, mm. do's and don'ts. So first of all, if you want to become an entrepreneur or an innovator, you have to have a tough skin whereby like you don't give up. Things may go right, things may go wrong. So first yeah. of all, you have to have uh, that tough skin. Mm. The secondly is the uh, ability to learn. So, you know, innovation is, uh, you are dealing with a real situation and uh, this world is very, very dynamic. So, uh, ask yourself, how do I learn? At least uh, if, you, if you have that, those two kind of a scenario, I think you are good to go. Do, uh, the problem is shifting. Also, you are there to learn. It's, it's called uh, alternative learning. I call it alternative learning. You go as uh-huh. things change. Okay. Yeah, you create solution as things. Uh, yeah, and, do, uh, and lastly, do you think Kenyan startups are being supported enough? Uh, that's a tricky question. <laughs> <laughs> or are you being supported? Are you receiving? Uh, there, are, there are two kind of a scenario. If you read the uh, data, if you read like, or go, if you Google, you'll find out that Kenya uh, is on, uh, Nairobi was placed fifth, as uh, according to startup ranking. But majority of our startup, sixty percent, are foreigners. Mm. I imagine that's so sad. So forty percent are, are local. Are local, and oh. you know foreigners comes. For example, if you're an American, and you, for example, you go to their home, you tell them, uh, "I have this, this, this kind of solution is for uh, Africans," and they give you one million dollars. You know, if you come to Kenya, that's like a hundred mm-hmm. Kenya million. So you, uh, for foreigners, they have a, a big of a upper hand because of dynamics of the forex exchange. So for us, locals is a bit of a problem but i urge uh, kenyans uh, particularly i uh, thank you for hosting us that's a good sign and uh, the uh. rest of the kenyans please support us when they support your local let's yeah. embrace kenya product made by kenyans for kenyans product made by kenyans for kenya amazing amazing thank you for coming on board do you have a shout out or where can people find you on social media uh you can f- uh, you can you can you can log uh you can log in uh, uh we have our web uh, web web uh, website page uh, called salama tracking.tech uh, we are found uh, across all social medias uh salama tracking technologies uh, let's engage uh, well please okay. support us <laughs> prince any parting shots social media yeah um so for me it will it will be a huge shout out to my team um Gavin Smarangia William Mutieno for you know even right now where we are is because also of the effort towards the product development phase and also to because I, I will say that um a village oh okay what's the thing that um a village raises a kid no. uh, yeah so the, the same is true for for also the uh, a product any 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 company so uh, for for my social so my socials yeah my socials are uh, Irungu, Irungu Prince, G- or Njiri Prince, yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Thank right. you for coming on board, and we wish you the best. We want you to represent us to the world. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that has been Salama Tracking Technologies, who we have been featuring uh, on our topic, motorbike tracking solution or technology, if you like. This has been a great conversation. We come up with music and lifestyle in not too long after the short break, but remember the hashtag to use is Thursday Vibes at Y254 channel. See you in a bit.